Hi Pisces, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I'm here to do your reading for the month of August. Now keep in mind this reading may not be for you. Okay? So, you know, if it feels right, it's right. If it feels wrong, it's wrong. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. My readings are love readings. We'll see whatever comes up. This is dissatisfying, okay? This is a dissatisfying situation, um, unrealistic. Something is dead. So You may be in a dead-end situation that is unrealistic and dissatisfying. In many decks, the tree is dead, okay? So it's like, hmm, maybe you're investing your time in the wrong situation. I don't know what that is. Ah, this is uh, opportunity for love. This is something that is, okay, all right. So this is when you're in one situation, but there's another opportunity being presented to you. This is typically when you're in the wrong situation and there's another better opportunity. That's what this is. And you're going to have to make a choice. Do you stay where you're at? Do you stay in this dissatisfying situation? Or do you move towards your true desire or your, your soul connection? Okay, this is a soul connection. Now this, the King of Swords, this is an air sign. Uh, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but anybody can take on these signs. This in reversed, this is somebody that's hurting you. Somebody that's bringing you down. Somebody that's a bully. Somebody that is um, abusive. Whether it's blackmail, cold, um... This person is, they can use emotional blackmail as a tactic to get you to do what they want. Ah, so I think that you're not happy. You're not happy with one situation, Pisces. This is unhappiness. Um, I think that you're dealing with a person that is hurting it's hurting you somebody is hurting you somebody's untrustworthy the king of swords is an untrustworthy individual somebody that isn't telling the truth it's not making you happy there's there's no growth here okay there's not and i think there's a new connect or there's another connection that is stronger a better connection You do have, this is a better suitor, but you're, you, this is in reversed. So upright, when I see this card, the upright position, I say that you have a suitor that's better for you. And this is a better suitor as well. I think you're with the wrong person. You're with a naysayer. You're with somebody who is very pessimistic. Somebody that is a Debbie Downer. And it's not satisfying at all. You have another connection, Pisces. Um, you have to take the next step, though. You have to take the next step. You could be dealing with a player. Ah, somebody doesn't have integrity. Somebody's not doing the right thing. Hmm, somebody has a wandering eye. You could be dealing with somebody that has a wandering eye. And they, it's a third-party situation. They think they're getting away with it. They don't even care if they hurt you. Oh my God. So what the hell is this? This is lack of integrity, lack of focus, lack of ambition, lack of drive, lack of planning. This is somebody that is very immature, somebody that is a mess. There you are. Now this person is probably somebody from your past somebody from your past you have to make a decision do you stay where it's unsatisfying or do you you know this is the past it's 
disconnected. Now, this is you, indecisive, confused, you know, confusion, going back and forth, that duality, keeping things to yourself. You may be trying to escape the reality of a situation. You're not communicating right now. There's no communication here with this past. There's a lack of integrity. Somebody doesn't want to own up to something. Could be this Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Could be anybody. I feel as though you have an opportunity for a soulmate connection, but right now you're with a Debbie Downer. <laughs> you are with a Debbie Downer. Could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be any sign. Somebody that is... Could be a player. Somebody, you know, that is juggling you and another person as well. I'm not saying... I'm not sure, but... I feel as though your intuition is giving you the answers. So whatever your intuition is telling you, if you think that this person, whoever it is that you're dealing with, is lying to you, then you're probably correct. Your challenge, oh no, this is how other, your challenge is over here. How people see you, people see that maybe they see think you're pessimistic. Maybe they think that you're not being very positive. This is how other people see you. This is somebody who see this person sees the glass as half empty instead of glass half full. Maybe they see that you're dealing with somebody who's bringing you down. That could be the case. Your challenge is doing the right thing, acting with integrity about what's going to make you happy. Ugh. Your challenge is communicating about what's going to make you happy. Somebody is not doing, not communicating. Your challenge is ugh. accepting the truth. Two of Swords reverse. This is indecision, delays, I mean, which I see. I've already saw that. You're going through an overwhelming feeling of worry about what you should do, how you should react, how you should communicate, whether you should communicate, whether you shouldn't communicate, what you should do, should you, just, should you stay here in this situation that is abusive, whatever it is, or should you move forward towards your heart's desire, whatever this is. I feel like you're holding on to anxiety and resentment with this card. Uh, maybe you're becoming emotionally detached from whoever this person is. Could be an air sign, could be an earth sign, could be a fire sign. This is emotional detachment. Somebody that is refusing to take the blindfold off, but they know what's beyond that blindfold. They know it, but they're, they refuse to do the right thing because I don't know why. But that's what this is. This is emotional coldness, being emotionally guarded from the truth. You know, you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It's time for you to be confident, to hold your head up high, to be strong, to take the lead. Believe in yourself. Listen to your inner guide. Have faith. We have Taurus here. Believe in yourself. This is also a teacher. Follow your own path. You have to not ignore what your intuition, your inner guide is telling you. Your intuition is telling you what to do in regards to love. It is. It is. But I don't think you're listening to it. Whatever it is. You're not listening to your intuition. Yeah, and you know what? It's time for you to really... You, be, you may be beginning to realize the truth. This is beginning to realize the truth, to, to end difficulty in your life. This is restoring faith, faith and faith. Five of Cups reversed is restoring faith, and this is faith as well. In a partnership, perhaps? You know, I don't know if it's somebody from the past or not. Now, this could be somebody from your childhood. Oh, my goodness. I think there's been an unexpected uh, 
situation that has come about that has reawakened your feelings of something, you know, maybe re feelings from the past, and now you are in a situation in which you need to get out of so that you can move forward. Now, I have to tell you this, something from the past could be somebody from the way, 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 way past, way, 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 way past, not the recent past, because that's what I'm feeling. I don't feel like this is the recent past. I feel like this is somebody from your childhood that perhaps you have not uh, been with for years and years and years, okay? I don't think this is somebody that, I think there's an unexpected choice in love. You may have ran into somebody, I'm not sure what this is, but I feel like that, or you're going to run into somebody that may be at a celebration of some sort that, you know, you may have a reconnection with and, and that, you know, you may be called to give them a chance. I don't think this is somebody from your recent past. I just need to really throw that out there. I don't think this is someone from your, you know, the last year, or the last two years, or the last three years. I think this is somebody from way back, way back, okay? maybe five years or six years back or even further than that. If you're, It depends on how old you are. It could be all the way back to your childhood. Maybe you haven't communicated with this person for quite some time. And now, you know, there's some sort of chance connection or chance meeting that brings you guys back together. I don't know where this is coming from. I really don't. Um, but anyway, I feel like there's a situation, though, that you're in that is really bringing you backwards it's really dissatisfying it's unrealistic and you you probably have to make a decision whether you want to stay or go whether you know you want to move out of this situation whatever it is um now the five of pentacles <laughs> look at this okay this is unexpected there's absolutely no, no doubt five 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 these are all fives okay so Fives are unexpected changes. Expect the unexpected. And it's funny, I just barely noticed that when I, I was just saying it's very unexpected. It is. I think there's an unexpected choice, or not, well, there is an expected, unexpected choice, but an unexpected chance meeting with somebody that I think it's from, you know, way long ago, way, way, way long ago. And there's an instant connection. You know, there's instant... Um, Oh, like pheromones, feelings. It's like, whew, like that. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, this is this is the one. This is the one. But now, I, now I'm stuck in this situation that is unsatisfying, and I'm going to have to get out of it so that I can connect with this one that I just, I just felt this connection with, whatever the hell this is. I don't know. Anyway, um, I feel, and fives are personal freedom. They're also divinely guided major life changes. Major life changes. So I think there are some major life changes on the horizon that are being divinely guided to, with somebody that is probably your soulmate, and it could lead to marriage. I do feel like it could. I think there's a undeniable attraction between the two of you, and this it's it's amazing because it's the end of difficulty with these two fives reversed. It's the end of a difficult period that leads to a solid commitment with your soulmate. So the, the, the true soulmate that you're supposed to be with at this time. So I don't know who this person is, but I see, I see a new commitment. I think this is somebody that you have known before, somebody from your past. I don't, like I said, I want to reiterate, this is not somebody that you have recently broken up with within the last year or three years, whatever. It's not. It's somebody from way, 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 way back. I think it's the end of a difficult period. I think that you have a new, um, well, this could be a reunion with somebody that you didn't expect to ever reunite with. I don't, I don't think it's a recent, a recent ex, okay? Yeah, I think that once you move on from this situation, because see where I put it? Once you move on from this situation in which you're only being hurt, you're, there's no more growth, you're dealing with a lot of um, mental abuse by another person. You guys don't see eye to eye, 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 whoever this is. It's like, this person is like an angry person. I think you're dealing with somebody that is kind of cold, you know, they're not very feminine, they're very masculine, you know. So I feel like you're dealing with somebody that isn't really doing it for you you know they're not really 
what you're looking for. And I think that once you move on, I think you probably will move on from that situation. You'll probably release that heaviness, that burden. Take the lead in your own life. Take the lead. Be the boss. Dominate this situation and bring structure back to your life. I feel as though there's an opportunity for a commitment that leads to something really, really solid, stable, and long term. Definitely long term. But you have to release some baggage first. There's something that you need to completely move away from that's hurting you. And I think it's a, somebody that is just not your type. They're not a lover. And you do have a lover. Somebody that you will, that like Cupid is bringing, bringing you together with. Could be a Taurus, could be an Aries. I think it's somebody from your way, way, way past or somebody from a past life. Because this could be a past life as well. But there's some kind of baggage that needs to be dropped. There is. Expect the unexpected. If you haven't run into this person yet, you're going to run into them. Now, like I just want to really, truly, truly reiterate. This is not your recent ex. It's not the last you know, three years. It's not the last two years, one year. This is somebody from way, 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 way back. Now, fives are also about life choices. Major life choices and major life changes. That's what's going on here. You free yourself from this situation. You liberate yourself from this situation that is not for you. And that's when this you meet up with this person. It's destiny. It's fate. It's meant to happen like this. I feel as though there's a, there's a, a moving away from somebody. It could be moving away from an Aries. I'm not sure. It could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Dropping baggage. I don't know. Whatever's happening is bringing you closer to your life's purpose. Purpose. It's bringing you closer to your true destiny, your true fate, your true soulmate. But there's a going to be a death or an end of something first. There's the death, the end of it. So if something ends and it leads, it brings you that, that real solid commitment that you are destined to be with. could be a Leo but this is finding strength finding courage finding confidence maybe that's what you need to free yourself from a Leo because this is this is the freedom I don't know you figure I'm just saying this is lip this is freeing this is freeing yourself and I put that right over it so I don't know what what this is but I'm just telling you what I see whatever this is you have an opportunity for a love connection love heals Somebody is going to come in to help you heal from all these past hurts, this past drama, this past cold relationship that you have been in. And I feel as though this, that, 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 that this is destiny. It's karma playing out in your favor. I feel like you really need to listen to your inner guide at this time and be aware this person is not your usual type, but there will be an instant attraction. And you know, I think you already know who this person is. I feel like... Um, this is this is good karma coming your way. So Pisces, I feel like this is a month where you get freed from something. You may free yourself from a situation that is unsatisfying and unrealistic. And as you free yourself, you run in or you or you connect with somebody from your way 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 past. Way 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 way. And it's and it's meant to be. And you know it's meant to be. Hopefully that's that's what it is, right? Um, hmm. Expect the unexpected. Now remember, this if this doesn't resonate right now, 
This is for the whole month of August. This could happen, you know, at the end of August. Could happen the first week of August. Watch this at the end of August, please. Watch this in the middle of August. Because August hasn't happened yet. Okay? There's, a, there's what, 30 days? 31 days in August? So expect the unexpected. This could happen any day in August where you run into the right one. And you know it's the right one. Maybe you knew them in a past life. And I have to remind you, this is not, I know I've said it many times because so many people are clung to their ex. This isn't your last ex. It's not. It's a soulmate. I knew it was. Yes, this is your soulmate. It is. You have a soulmate connection on the horizon. Yay! But you have to leave a situation first. If you guys are in an unsatisfying situation right now and you want this soulmate, well, you just heard the reading. You know, there's a soulmate connection on the horizon. There is. But there's going to be a, some sort of personal freedom that happens first freedom from something that is a dead end. Relaxation. Allow yourself to be lazy. It's okay to do nothing. Yeah, that's a problem, isn't it, Pisces? <laughs> I have to show you what's on the bottom. Reconsider a commitment. You have the right to change your mind. Choice. I think you guys are involved with the wrong person. And there's somebody from your past that is that is destined to be with, that you are destined to be with. It's, and I know a lot of you can be like, No, I don't want somebody from my past. It's not the one that you hate. Okay, it's not. It's not what I'm saying. It's somebody else. It's somebody else. Reconsider a commitment. You have the right to change your mind. It's not the person you don't want back. It's not. It's somebody new, but that you already know. You know what I'm saying? Good luck. 